Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay, and today's video is gonna be awesome because it is a get ready with me video, but it is special edition because it's game day here in Dallas. I'm a part of the Dallas Stars Ice Girls, so I dance and skate for the team, and I'm gonna walk you through what game day looks like in my world as I get ready for puck drop tonight. So first, I'm gonna get started with my tan because winter has set in very nicely. I feel like I'm like the ice queen with how pale I am right now. And so sometimes I go to a tanning salon to get a spray tan, like in the spray tanning machine with the booth, this whole, you know, situation. But today I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna do a quick little at-home tanning mousse just to give me a little glow before the game tonight. So next time you see me, I'm gonna be a couple shades tanner. Now that I'm looking a little bit tanner, we are ready to get started on my hair. So I always curl my hair for the games, and I'm gonna do this in two different sections. My hair is a little dirty right now. I washed it two days ago, but it is perfect for curling. I found that when my hair is super clean, the curls don't hold as well and uh, they kind of just fall and die throughout the game. So we are here for a little bit of a dirty hair vibe. Don't judge. It's kind of gross, but um, don't worry. I still shower in between not washing my hair. Super dirty, I promise. Anyway, dry shampoo, my best friend. This helps to add some like grit to my hair so that way the curls also hold better. So I'm just gonna spray this mostly at my roots. We are ready to start curling. So I'm gonna use my trusty handy dandy dry bar, three day bender curling iron. This thing is awesome. I mean, this is my second one. I blew one out when I was traveling abroad, but this thing is amazing. I love the way it makes my curls super like full bodied and just like that classic Texas hair, if you know what I mean. Everything's bigger in Texas, including our hair and our curls. We are gonna get right into this. Also, I have a full video on how I curl my hair. I'm thinking about redoing that video to give it a little update. Comment below if you guys would like to see that updated video. Uh, the last one that I did was about nine, 10 months ago, and I did it on my phone before I had this camera, so kind of just needs a little sprucing up. So let me know if you actually would want to watch a full video updated on how I curl my hair. All right, bottom half done. We are gonna add in some texture spray and some hair spray. Big hair spray, that is key. We want those hairs to be big. I just got these, I mean, as you can tell, I like things to match. So they're all the same brand and I'm really liking, I'm really liking this whole brand. I think it's just OGX. Yeah, you can buy them at like Walgreens or CVS. Get right on to the top. Okay, though once it like dries and uh it gets like more powdery that's when like you can really just like zhuzh it into the roots and really get rid of all that oil um so i don't worry about that zhuzh it all around definitely went a little overboard on the dry shampoo but it's okay it's fine we're making it work These are all like little ringlets, but I'm going to let them kind of stay like this for a hot second as they cool down. And then we're gonna spray it with some final texture spray, hairspray, and then like really softly run my fingers through to break up the curls. But I'm probably not gonna brush it until I get to the arena. I'll bring my curling iron and do touch-ups. But for the most part, this is kind of how I like to leave them. So that way the curls really stay intact throughout the day. So we are gonna add in some little texture spray real quick. And then some hairspray. You know, got those cute 
cute little Shirley Temple ringlets going on, but don't worry, they are gonna be broken up shortly. So give that a minute to soak right in and then I'll break them up. I'm gonna just run my fingers lightly through them to break up the curls a little bit. All right, and it's looking a little flat up top here. So I'm just gonna add a quick little tease in to get some extra volume at the root. Not a teasing extraordinaire, so do not take teasing tips from me. But we got just a little bit more volume going on there. That's looking pretty good. Gonna give it a final hairspray. I just fully sprayed myself in the face with this. All right, and there's my hair. Now let's get ready for makeup. Now we're on to my favorite part of getting ready for game day, which is putting on my makeup. So yeah, here we go. Let's get started. Getting started with foundation. I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. This is a 24 hour full coverage foundation. It is a little darker so it matches my tan skin better and it has no SPF in it, which is key for game days because People are taking photos of us and you don't want that flashback from your foundation and from the SPF. I'm gonna put this bad boy on. Also, game day looks a little bit different this year as far as the fact that we have to wear masks. You're probably like, Lindsay, why are you doing your full face of makeup? Well, because I feel real naked, like half done, if I don't do my full face of makeup. So here we are doing my full face of makeup. <laughs> All right, now because it's game day, I am gonna put a little bit of some bronzer cream contour on. This is the Tom Ford Intensity One shade palette. And I'm just gonna take a little flat brush and put on my cream contour. <laughs> A little goes a long way with this stuff. Like it looks like I'm not putting hardly any on, but just you wait, watch on how much it blends out. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty look right there. Shooting me with words, but I won't let them be. All nice and blended in, just a little bit of a pop on the contour cheeks there. You guys, I just looked down and realized I jumped in so quickly. I forgot to put my new primers on. I'm so sad. I literally bought these to try out for game days specifically, and I completely forgot to put them on. I'm so disappointed in myself. All right, well, um, I guess I'll try them out next time, but uh, yeah. Pumped. It's the Tatcha primer. If you guys have tried these out, let me know. I've heard amazing things about them. I'm so excited to try them out. I just like totally spaced it. So wow, like, good job, Lens. We are moving on to eyes though. Putting on just like a little neutral eye base. Sometimes I go with a shimmery one from Tom Ford. Other times I just go with this neutral one from Trish McAvoy. And I just like them because it helps to even out my eyelids as I get ready to put some shadow on. And for game days, especially this year, since we're wearing masks, I like to do my eyes pretty dramatic so that way they pop because that's all that anyone sees. For eye shadow, we are going with the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia. This thing is my favorite palette I've literally ever bought. I love Tom Ford eyeshadow. I love actually all Tom Ford makeup, but this Anastasia palette has the prettiest colors. They pop, they like are so rich and like, ugh, I just love the colors that they put on this palette. So I think for tonight, we're gonna go with kind of like a smoky purpley brown. So we're gonna start with tempura and this is what I'm gonna put all over my eyelid as kind of like my second base. All right, in my crease, we're gonna do this dusty rose color. Nice and simple and easy with a fluffy, fluffy brush. You try to turn me into somebody else. Now the center of my eye, kind of like the middle, I'm gonna go in with this pretty rose pink color. Just a little touch, touch of that. I'm just gonna put it on with my finger. Yeah, I'm all right, like a ricochet. Corner, 
corner corner we're gonna go with cypress umber to start and then we're gonna mix in some sultry with it as well starting with cypress umber I like to drag out my eyeshadow a little to make it a little bit like a cat eye that also just like works well with the shape of my eye so those are actually looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to add in any sultry right now. I think I'm just going to go in again with that little rose pink and just add a little bit extra to the middle of the eye. Blend in with the darker color. Have that little pop of pink back in. And then I'm going to take a super small little brush and go in again with Cypress Umber. We're just going to line the bottom lashes a little bit so that it blends the top and bottom together. I'm still going to put on eyeliner, but I just want a little smudge of this Cypress Umber dark brown eyeshadow underneath the eyes. Then I just like to take my foundation brush and run it underneath my eyes to sweep away any eyeshadow that might have fallen down underneath my eyes. And then if I'm wanting to brighten up underneath my eyes, I don't put on concealer until after I do my eyeshadow. So that way I can cover up again anything that falls down underneath my eyes. But I'm just gonna put two little dots under here and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and I love it. I love that it's a little bit of a lighter color so that way when I put it underneath my eyes it just really brightens them up like as you can see this eye just looks so much brighter than this one beautiful Ooh, the eyes are popping they're popping up next eyeliner so what I do I do kind of two steps with my eyeliner first of all I take my black pencil and I just line my waterline and then I like to go in with a liquid eyeliner but I like to line the bottom as well as the top water lines on an everyday basis I usually do this with a brown pencil but for game days we're all about the drama why we go in with black this is the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper Black. And we're gonna do like a nice, long cat eye, dramatic eyeliner. Hopefully I can do a good job for this video. Um, yeah, we're, pray for me. All right, that looks pretty good. Now the real challenge is duplicating on the other eye. Uh, comment below if you feel the same way about eyeliner. You put one eye on, it's flawless. You do the second eye, it's just total mm. We'll see what kind of magic I can work here. All right, we're gonna take that. It's gonna have to work. So, eyeliner's on, looking decently good. And then we're gonna do some mascara. Gonna put on some bronzer, some highlighter. Don't need lipstick, cause we're wearing masks. Then we're just gonna put on some eyelashes and then we're gonna be done. Oh, so easy, so simple, so quick. Not. Mascara, yes I put mascara on. Even though I'm putting on fake eyelashes, it makes your eyelashes blend in. The fake ones a lot more naturally and it just makes your eyelashes look bigger and that's the goal when we're trying to go for drama. Drama mama, get those lashes looking so fine. Ooh, we forgot about eyebrows. Eyebrows, so important. Fun fact, for a long time I didn't do my eyebrows. I feel like I've mentioned that in every makeup video that I've done, but they make a huge difference. So I'm here to preach to people, please do something with your eyebrows. Just a, just a little something, something. It makes such a difference. Like it's not a big difference, but it's just enough that it makes a world of difference. I promise. I'm sure you can tell from this video I'm a little all over the place while doing my makeup so um you know I just kind of roll with it don't really have a method to the madness but I just get everything done not always in the same order sometimes it's very like mm, what am I doing but I get it done and at the end of the day my makeup looks good for game day and that's all that matters oh also I forgot to mention this is the Tom Ford brow sculptor in number two taupe good one matches my hair eyebrows situation happening and yeah works like magic it's got a little brush on the end it's got a little sharpener with it so highly recommend that one and then for mascara, mask 
mascara. We have got the Anastasia Lash Frag Volumizing Mascara. And I've discovered, let me know if this is crazy, but I love getting minis of things because then I can try it out see if I really like it. And then eventually, if I want the full size product, I'll go back and buy the full size product. Turns out that I hate this. A, I spent less money. B, I don't waste product. And C, I can just use it up a lot quicker. So, you know, I don't know if I'm crazy to think that way, but I also just like think they're so cute. Love mini things. So that just me, might be me and my craziness, but I think it's like a pretty brilliant strategy to buy minis of things, try them out, and then, you know, then you can buy the full size. I guess that's the whole point of samples, but you know, here I am just, <laughs> Never mind. I will look at you and tell you that I'm all right, like a ricochet. Oh my god, I almost just lost everything! Mascara almost went all over my face, I almost dropped my mirror. This mirror almost went flying. <sighs> just had a small panic attack, heart attack. We're okay. This mascara is also just great for every day. Like if you look at my lashes, they are voluminous, they are long. It just does like an overall great job at volume and length. So for an everyday mascara, highly recommend this one. And then it's also just perfect to go seamlessly into my eyelashes, which is gonna be the very last step. So first, before I go into eyelashes, we are gonna do some highlighter and bronzer. So we're gonna start with highlighter and this is a crushed up, very used up, very dirty Tom Ford highlighter palette duo thingamabob. And um, yeah, we're just gonna do a little highlight on the cheekbones. Next up, bronzer. This is a MAC bronzing powder, refined golden, and I think it's beautiful. Another little fun fact about me is that I have literal PTSD from using blush at dance competitions growing up. So I actually never wear it. I hate, hate, hate blush. So bronzer is like my blush. And then very last step before lashes, just gonna go in with a little micro finishing pressed powder. And this one is from Makeup Forever. Just wanna get everything nice and Set on there. Nice little mattifying look. Don't want to look shiny in photos. Mm -mm. We are almost done. One last step. One lash step. <laughs> See what I did there. One last step, which is lashes. And we are going with the Ardell Lift Effect Lashes. Got these bad boys from Walgreens. And um, I'm actually doing a full review of the different lashes that I buy from drugstores to see which ones are my favorite. So we're gonna try these ones out tonight. And here is my final game day look. I'm about to head to the arena, but thanks for coming along for me as I get ready for game day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all future videos. See you guys next time.